so many chances, you have so many opportunities, and once again, just a couple of mistakes end up being the difference. You know, it's it's uh, it's obviously part of the game. Um, <clears throat> you know, they were the more opportunistic team tonight. Uh, we can't beat ourselves up, you know, we're, when we're creating chances like that. Um, but like you said, there's a couple of mistakes there that I think we need to uh, address and, and make sure that we're eliminating them from our game. And um, you know, it's tough. It's uh, we're working hard and uh, we're putting a great effort forward. Obviously, we're not getting the uh, results we want, but we can't uh, we can't change anything because there's. Uh, it's definitely a blueprint for success. It's hockey and it happens sometimes, <clears throat> but you get a breakaway, you don't convert, they go down and score. You have a four on two after surviving a two on one, they get a breakaway, they convert. I mean, how hard is that two or three minutes kind of it's hard to swallow? Yeah, it's tough. I think, uh, you know, sometimes that happens and you, you know, you can live with one goal, but when it's two goals, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a tough pill to swallow in that short amount of time. So, um, you know, that's, that's on us to, as a team, to be uh, a little bit mentally, you know, more mentally tough there, and just keep going. I think we did respond pretty well. Um, we, you know, we threw everything at them after that point. I uh, got a good player at the end of the second, which was, uh, you know, huge. And, um, and we came out in the third, and we, we played really good hockey. We just didn't, uh, we didn't convert, like you said. And uh, obviously, the game starts to slip away there at the end. Why has it been so hard to kind of just find traction for this team this season? You haven't won more than three in a while, but you haven't lost more than three in a while, just been kind of up and down. Well, it's a good league. You know, there's uh, there's a lot of good teams out there. And, um, you know, every night is tough. I think uh, there's a lot of parity in the league, and you got to make sure that we're... Uh, you know, the, the, the big thing is we got to make sure that we're not letting the losses slip into two, three game losing streaks. Uh, you know, we want to make sure that if we do lose a game, we're bouncing back like we, you know, we're going to do tomorrow night and uh, get a chance to play, obviously, and, and give ourselves a chance to uh, get back on the winning side of things. But, um, you know, it's it's tough. We have, a, we have a grueling schedule here coming up. Luckily, a lot of games are at home, so we have to start taking advantage of it. Obviously, that's a lot of what you did tonight with some chances you guys created and all that stuff like that. How much of a little small detail has been costing you guys in some games like this where maybe you play better than maybe you deserve more? Than well, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's big. It's obviously, uh, you know, something, again, like I said, we need to, you know, just eliminate those one, two big mistakes that we're making um, that's giving teams, you know, that, that cushion. Um, you know, we're in games if we, uh, if we you know, eliminate those game, those mistakes. And um, obviously, if we, uh, if we do that, I think we'll, we'll start to win a lot more games. Second cycle of games where you're playing good hockey, but a couple of mistakes are costing you games that you need to find a way to break out of. Yeah, but mistakes that we made, like, we, um, you know, there's not, how do I say this? Like, we made it, we shot ourselves in the foot, though, in these, like, you know, we can't, the short end of goal, we can't give that up. And, and then we, I don't know, unlucky, whatever you want to call the third one, you know, they're Johnny on the spot on a puck that was rimmed around and goes off our guy's stick and ends up in the slot. And, you know, that's, it's tough when you give up the third one, uh, especially against a team, you know, like them that, you know, then they just shut it down and pack the middle and it's, it's hard to get things through. But it was tough because we, we had it rolling there for, until they got the third one, they, we were at it rolling there in the end. We just, we just couldn't get it past them. And uh, it's frustrating, you know, you're gonna wake up tomorrow and it's look 5-1, you know, clearly it was not a 5-1 game, but it was a loss. And uh, uh, we left plays out there. There's, there's no question. We left some plays out there. Cool. Connor grabs the breakaway, and then they come back down and score. And then yeah, well, that's... Was it a weird game where it's like you had the chance, seemed like you were about to score, and then right back the other I way. I did have that feeling that every time they went in the zone, it was, you know... But, but those are big-time chances. You know, we, we, we get the flat-out breakaway, we miss it, and then it's in our net right after that. And, you know, like... You know, their chance compared to our chance was way different. Uh, then we've got the, you know, the four on two, and we turn it over, and 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 they go the other way, and that's a 160 foot breakaway. Um, so we, you know, we kind of are, as well as we were at times, we were our, also our worst enemy. After they scored the shorthanded goal, you killed off one of their power plays, and then you came within one, so you were going to turn the tables, right? There. Oh no, no, we were. Like I said, it was. It's a 2-1 game, and I really like the first seven minutes of our of the third period. It was, uh, you know, we were in there the whole time. We were we were buzzing, and unfortunately, they get the third one. And and if we tie that, it's probably a much different game. But we didn't, and this is where we're at. Is Stevens' first first game? 
I thought that was. I thought the kids did well. You know, they they uh, they created. They spent most of the time in the offensive zone. Um, you know, unfortunately, you know they were on for a goal against, but it was. Uh, they you know they fit right in and 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 you know they pushed the pace for us. They could all skate. Uh, I was happy with uh, their that lines played and, and especially Stevens. So Johnson, we checked out today. Get any more update on him in terms of how long? No, he's, he's not playing tomorrow. With regards to the um, small details that are biting you guys in the butt on a lot of these goals against, do you feel like the team is possibly overthinking things at times? Uh, I, no, I don't think so. I, it's, uh, you know, we just, it's just commit, commitment to the D zone. And, but you look at these, like, like I said, the, um, like the first one was off a, kind of a nothing rush the second one was we gave it to him the third one was off a kind of a bad bounce and that that goes into the slot you know they're in good spots and they capitalize on their plays but um you know, i was never sitting in the game going like oh my gosh we're under siege here that was never the feeling where i thought there was at times i'm like oh my god we're gonna get one here and we just couldn't so but that's why you know they have the record they have and um, one of the things you probably have to do against them is get the lead and try and change the way they play. But when they get the lead, it's tough. Shorthanded goals is something where you guys should have shot it, like Kucherov should have shot at that point, or is it with the pitch, yeah. I guess, or you know. a lot of things. Allowed goal. It seemed like very gave it. Oh, it was. It's too bad because we made, you know, the, <laughs> we need those. But it was uh, that wasn't just offside. It was way offside. So it was not much of a argument.